ओके एवरी वन वाई इज वी एवरेज इक्वल टू द एडिशन ऑफ वी इनिशियल प्लस वी फाइनल डिवाइडेड बाई टू एज वी सेड फॉर्मूलाज आर वेदर डिफिनीशन ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट और दे आर सम हाउ ड्रीवन और and they are concepts that you should be able to understand them you should never memorize them you should never um, pick up them from a formula sheet and just substitute in them and get numbers out of them you have to understand them and as i said this is a statement now i'm asking why is this statement true um of course this statement is only true about a uniform motion but i'm going to explain it for you so remember every formula you have to whether prove it and you have to understand it so you cannot just memorize or accept formulas now before starting let's imagine a um, motion with constant velocity this is constant velocity so the, in this case the velocity is constant Uh, so it's always the same and in this case as you can see is always 3 this is the velocity is 3 and the time 1 2 3 so for 5 seconds something is moving with the velocity of 3 of course the displacement is velocity times um, time as you know uh, and 3 times 5 would be 15 meters right and you can always uh, look at this as a uh, um Uh, you can find this rectangles uh, area and this area that i have colored in here would be actually equal to the displacement from the vt graph velocity time graph so now look at the situation when the velocity is changing so the velocity starts from 2 and improves to 4 within this 5 seconds and um, this velocity uh, changes con the change in velocity is constant so in this case the change in velocity is constant so it's called uniform so the change in velocity is constant in the other hand you can also say actually the a acceleration is constant with constant acceleration constant a so in this case um, of course the slope would not change would stay the same during the process and um, you can say that um, 2 plus 4 divided by 2 would be 3 and actually the area underneath this would be equal to the area underneath uh, if you consider this this is just following this formula this will give you the average velocity right but this area would be as if you are finding this um, area under this green line which is actually our average velocity we calculated in here because this part is added to it this part is taken away from uh, from it so it will these are equals these two triangles obviously are equal so uh, it will be equal to uh, if i you know find the area underneath this green which is similar to this so this v average that i found in here Uh, multiply the time would give me the same displacement which would be equal of finding the which would be equal to this red area actually so v average is acting as it is a constant velocity so i guess now you have a better understanding of this and if you look at this uh, graph uh, consider this as v and t Uh, try to analyze it on your own a little bit try to think about it more and analyze it on your own we are going to talk about this topic again